What's going on guys today? We are out here and we are going to be doing some bluegill fishing. The bass have not been cooperating so we are going to try and catch some bluegill. There's some decent sized bluegill in here. A lot of them are up shallow today so we're going to see if we can catch a few. I'm going to be using crappie nibbles to start and hopefully that works out. Well I found a school of bluegill in front of me right off of a bed bunch of bluegill beds in here so I am going to try out the crappie nibbles and see if I can get one of these crappie nibbles to work on these bluegills. It looks like there's some decent sized bluegill in here maybe up to 10 inches. A lot of them look like they're in the six to eight inch range. I'm gonna see if I can pull one out of the water and show y'all. That did not take long at all. First cast produced a nice bluegill. Super, super pretty bluegill. Crappie nibble, bluegill fish. And this is probably a seven inch bluegill. It's a really nice start, first fish. I was planning on doing some bass fishing today, but I did have a backup plan. So now we're gonna go after some bluegill. One of the keys to this video one of the keys to fishing for bluegill just have patience I really like using the yellow because I can see when they eat but at the same time it's a disadvantage because it makes me want to jerk and pull on that hook as fast as I can but the key is to have patience that way once that bait has been eaten they have time to really get it down there we go oh what is this another bluegill Thought it was a largemouth at first. That gum is a big boy. He has definitely been caught before. His lips got some piercings in it. But that's another nice, nice bluegill. It's another really solid bluegill. Sorry about the lawnmower noise in the background. Lawnmowers are just part of fishing in the neighborhoods. You can't help it. So my favorite fish to fish for in these ponds is definitely the bass. But I always carry a thing of crappie nibbles with me just in case the bluegill are biting like today. That way I've got something to do if the bass aren't cooperating very well. There we go. Now that's the smallest bluegill of the day, but it is a fish. I just threw that one out just a little bit deeper than the last couple. He just comes right off. But I threw that just off the drop off. The other ones are right on top of it, sitting in the shallows. I'm assuming they're on a bed or trying to sun a little bit. Sun's not out much today, but it is a little bit. There's another bluegill. There we go. Whoa, hooked on the outside. That's funky placement. This is probably six, seven inch bluegill. Beautiful colors on these fish. Right about six feet out once again. There we go. I knew that they would bite on that little school out there. There's quite a few of them in there. Ow, ow. This is probably one of the better ones of the day. Nice little bluegill. Just using a number two hook, putting one to three crappie nibble on it, depend on how big they are. Casting it out there six to 10 feet, letting it sink. And then these bluegill are coming up and hammering on it. Sometimes it's a really slow bite. Sometimes it's incredibly fast. They just get pissed off and go right for it. Just using power bait crappie nibbles. And power bait are some of the best crappie nibbles I've ever used. There's like a four pound bass right there. And he just won't eat. Tried to catch him a little bit earlier with artificial worms, through a swim bait, through a chatter bait, through a rattle trap, through everything from finesse to quick moving hard baits. Nah. This is a really really big bed bass and I should have brought something a little slower 
This is all I got at the moment, so I'm gonna work with it. I think I'm getting him pissed off though. He's gonna end up taking this, I know he is. All right, buddy, time to eat. Well, I think I hooked him. Not exactly the way I was hoping for though, but I definitely got him. Now that's a hell of a bass right there. That's a big bass. That's a really, really nice bass. Going to get a weight on this guy. Three pounds, two ounces. So this monster weighed just over three pounds. Fortunately, that wasn't a clean catch, but it's still really cool to see. I've been trying to get it to react to the jerk bait. I need to get a glide bait. That way I can just stop it right there mid float, mid bed, and then it'll come up and hammer it. I've seen him hitting some bluegill. And this was my best option, so I tried it. And he swiped at it a few times, but unfortunately this time when I hooked him, he got snagged. Still a really cool fish though. There we go. That one was all reaction strike. Plopped it right on top of a bed and boom, another bluegill. These fish nowhere near pull as hard as bass do, but they're still a lot of fun to catch. The challenge of just getting them to bite is the thrill of it all. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Caught quite a few bluegill out here. Wasn't expecting some of the size that I caught either, but it was a good day. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on another Upstream Outdoors episode. Thanks, guys. Peace.